Hi, this is Kerry with Filmmaker Central. And today we're gonna to take a look at some improvements in the adjustment clip in DaVinci Resolve 16.1. So stick around, we'll be right back. Now, if you've looked at the complete list of changes from 16.0 to 16.1, there are a lot of changes. Uh, I, I didn't count it, but it looks like probably around 75 or so new features coming in 16.1. Now, I've already got a video on the boring uh, tool. Uh, it's not called that, but that's what it's going to be referred to for a while at least. So check that out. And today we're going to talk about the adjustment clip. And while the adjustment clip has been around for a little bit now, uh, it's definitely a big improvement in 16.1. Uh, so we're going to take a look at how that works. So here I've got a basic clip set up and I'm going to go to my effects library and make sure I'm on effects and adjustment clip. And I'm just going to drag this adjustment clip onto the timeline. There we go. And I'll stretch it out to the width of this clip. And now we need to give it some adjustments. So I'll go to the color page. And I think I'll uh, play with the colors here just a little bit. I'll bring up the gamma. And um, bring up my gain a little bit. And I'll just add some saturation to it. Nothing crazy, just uh, popping it in there. And now we have this adjustment clip. Now what we can do is take that adjustment clip and extend it out as much as we want and use it across other clips, kind of like uh, using nodes, but this is all gonna be within one clip. And you can stack clips. You can have multiple adjustment clips, maybe one for your coloring, one for a vignette, things like that. So let's take a look. And I'll just take this and I'll just drag it across over here and we can see the difference in what we have. So there's without it and there's with it. So pretty simple. So I'm gonna come up here in the inspector and now this is what's new in 16.1 is we can actually give it a name. So let's just call this punchy. Uh, There we go. And so while that's cool, and now on the timeline, we see that this one is called punchy and we could have vignette and we could have other ones. And I don't know why, but it's really eating up CPU cycles on my laptop here. Okay, now we're back in business. Got our little punchy clip adjustment. Now, what's kind of cool about this is we can go up here into our media pool and just take this and drag it into our media pool. And now we have access to this adjustment clip anywhere we want within this project. So I think that's a very cool addition. Instead of just having to kind of copy and paste and copy and paste wherever you wanted it, you can now just throw it in the media pool. But something that's not mentioned in the release notes that I found out is this other little trick. Now I use power bins quite a bit. And if we look in here, I've got my intros, I've got different logos, uh, different sound files, things that I use over and over again. So let's say I, this is one that I want to use over and over again for different things. And I can just, uh, in fact, let's go one step better in our power bin and let's create another bin in here and let's call this adjustments. So I'll go there and I will drag that adjustment clip over to my power bin. And now any project that I'm in, doesn't have to be this project, I can open up a new project, I can open up an old project. All I have to do is go to the power bins and I have that adjustment clip in there. So if it's an effect that you want to use over and over and over again in all kinds of different projects. Uh, think of um, Alaskan Gold, the, the TV show. That whole show, with the exception of some black and white clips, has a very specific yellow overlay over all the footage, giving it that gold look. 
Well, they can create that as an adjustment clip, save it, and instead of trying to remember what it was or trying to create a LUT for it or, or anything else, they can do all their editing and then just throw that adjustment clip over it with just that gold overlay so that it's perfect every single time. So that's kind of the, the, uh, the beauty of what an adjustment clip does. And now being able to name them, number one, which is very important, and then also being able to put them in the media pool and the power bins, I think is a huge improvement. It's definitely gonna be something that I use on a very regular basis as I kind of create my own collection of adjustment clips that I then put into my, my power bin. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, I think the adjustment clip is something very useful. And if you're only on 16.0, you still have the adjustment clip. You just don't have the ability to name it and put it in the media pool or the power bin, but you still have the adjustment clip. If you move to 16.1, which is currently in beta, so don't be in a huge hurry if it doesn't really excite you to play with beta software. But if you're on 16.1, then you can also put it in the media pool and the power bin. So hope that made sense. Hope you enjoy this. Thanks for watching everybody. Really appreciate the support out there. All the subscribers, the likes, the comments, the feedback. Definitely appreciate each and every one of you. Stay in touch in the comments below. Also go to filmmakercentral.com where there's often other news and things going on that aren't always in YouTube. And join the conversation. Join the group on Facebook at facebook.com slash groups slash Filmmaker Central. This has been Kerry. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.